Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a geometry tutorial to share with you today. We are going to be making five fold symmetry using this book called Drawing Circle Images. For this project, I'm also using my Fabriano 90 pound hot press watercolor paper. It measures nine inches by 12 inches. I'm going to eyeball the center of the page and then I'm going to set my compass to five centimeters. I'm going to construct a circle right at the center of the page. The next thing we want to do is make sure that that's very correct. <laughs> We're going to draw a diameter right through the center of our circle. And then at the lower point, we're going to extend our radius so that we can draw two arcs on either side of the circle. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side so that both those arcs cross. Next, we can use our ruler to connect those arcs at the top and the bottom. And then we would have divided our circle into four equal parts. I'm gonna go ahead and erase all those extra marks because we don't need them. The next thing we want to do is readjust our radius back to the original circle and draw an arc that crosses the circle. And then we're going to connect the points where it crosses the circle. Next, we're going to readjust our compass once again, and this is going to allow us to get our five division of a circle. We're going to go ahead and mark the arcs on either side, and then we're going to cross again and mark two more arcs so that we have a total of five. And I just double check to make sure they're all equal distance from one another. Next, I'm going to go ahead and erase at this point. It's a lot easier to erase as you go than trying to do this at the very end because we're going to have a lot of arcs on our circle. So I've made sure that my radius is correct and it did wobble a little bit, so I had to readjust it once again. You do want to make sure that you are using a compass that can be adjusted well because this one I found wobbles just enough and it really distorts your final image. So I'm going to take each one of those points, those arcs on that circle, and it's going to become the center of five new circles. And you can see how our five-fold symmetry is already emerging. Next, I'm going to readjust my compass so it's quite large. I am skipping one of those arcs and going all the way to the other one. And this way, we're going to get this really large circle. It's going to go off the page, which is okay. If you want to keep the entire image on the page, you can just reduce your original radius or you can use a larger piece of paper. But since we're going to be erasing some of these extra arcs on the outline parts of this design, it doesn't really matter. So once you get those additional five large circles, we can go ahead and erase all the things that you don't need for your final image. Next, I'm going to be using my Distress Inks to watercolor this image, and I've got four different colors here in a green, a pink, a yellow, and a green. Distress Inks are ink pads that you can find in art supply stores, and I've just squished them down onto a non-porous surface, and this gives me just enough ink to work with. Now, I'm using them as watercolors, but they do dry permanent, and if you make any mistakes, you can lift the color a little bit, but you gotta work pretty fast. Now what I love about these designs is that however you fill them in, they're going to be beautiful and unique. I've done a couple of them with my children and each time we have filled in different parts of our design to end up with a unique, beautiful result in the end. So I'm just adding a little bit more green to that last part of the design and it's complete. If you'd like to see some of our other geometry tutorials, you can tap on the screen right now. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video so you can find out more details about the materials that I used. And if you want to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.